We're back with Dr. Pepper Schwartz. So I'm excited to know what happens when we age, men and women? How do then we kind of do this complete change with our needs? Well, I think as men get somewhat less attached to work, they sort of enter women's realm. And first of all, she doesn't like that so much. I mean, in other words, you know, <laughs> the, the old joke, which is really true, I married you for life, but not for lunch. And so the idea being that he gets a little less independent, she gets more independent. He actually gets somewhat more romantic, she gets somewhat less romantic. This just There's, seems unfair. It just seems like an unfair trick all of a sudden, that things well, are changing, you know? Well, because she becomes more the center of his life, and she has a very articulated life. Women have a lot of friends. They've developed a, a fairly complex social world. Men don't. It's usually her. And so they center, on, you know, they center on her for their needs. She's got all this other stuff. It's like too much. I, I've also seen you say that men become more sexually insecure as yeah. they age. Women become more confident. Absolutely. Now, granted, everybody has issues. Women have, let me get frank here, dryness issues. They need to use lubrication, replens, things like that. Men may have to use ED drugs, Viagra, Vitra. There's a whole bunch of them now. But somehow the ones that women use don't affect their self-esteem and the fact that a man is not the whole macho idea of his virility that he's mm. had all his life. There's a lot of women whose men back off so much that they're really sexually starved because he's insecure. He's also, you know, youth is something that um, has, been a, has been like a free ride for a long time. Then you get a little bit older. This starts really in the late 30s, early 40s. It's not, you don't have to, unfortunately, you don't have to wait till 60. Oh. You know? Well, thank goodness I've got Something another 10 40. years or so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but, I mean, women have to be very careful with their men at some point because they have to show them a lot of encouragement that, that whatever it is, it's great because the men are a lot more shaky about it and the men will back off more about sex as they get older than women will. So how do we bridge the gap in these differences in our, in our needs? Well, we could talk. <laughs> I mean, that would help, you Good know? Start. I mean, seriously. And, you, and give each other a lot of, a lot of support. I mean, I th people do not give each other enough compliments. They do not say how good they look or, you know, how much I respect what you just said. Or you really look sexy today. And the longer people have been married, the less they do that. That's true. I think you do you know? start to take your partner for granted. Yeah. Or anyone, really, if they've been in your life for a long time, you start to take them for granted, for sure. And we, we all need it. And you can't overdo it. You know, I mean, I think maybe sometimes people think, oh, it'll be fall to, you know, too much. No. I mean, we all need it. Mm -hmm. And just the thing when you're walking out the door and saying, gosh, you look handsome today. Or, you know, I'm so glad I married you. Or something like that. Make your day. It's a nice thing. Well, that, it nice makes your hear. day to get a compliment. It does. It? Always yeah. does. Dr. Schwartz, thank you so much. Really good information. You can get more great information like that about the needs of men and women and what is normal in Dr. Schwartz's book, The Normal Bar.